100 subscribers. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much everyone. I couldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for you subscribing, liking my videos, leaving comments, and just watching my videos and listening to my stupid opinions. I'm so happy we were able to do so much in just a year. I cannot thank you enough for getting me to this point. To celebrate such a big milestone, we're going to review a big figure. Or like, Five figures that turn into a big figure. It's the Combiner Wars Combaticons. Let's start with the legs. Swindle, a retool of Combiner Wars Rook. One of the best Combiner Wars molds. I will say the bulky aesthetic doesn't really suit Swindle, though. He's a con artist, not a beefcake. At least they got the face right. And the mechanical detail is off the charts. As for accessories, you get a gun. This can be held in the hand or plugged into the back as a shoulder cannon. You also get the Combiner Wars hand foot. And these things suck ass. The hands are way too big, making any combiner look like a gorilla. And then there's the feet. Not only are they too small, but they don't have any ankle articulation. Meaning that posing Bruticus is impossible. Oh, and uh, all the limbs were supposed to come with a comic book, but I got these secondhand on eBay, so no comic. Moving on to articulation, head is on a ball joint, can go up, down, left, and right. Shoulders go all the way around and out. Bicep rotation, elbow bend, nothing at the wrist. Waist rotation, leg goes up that far, back that far, and out that far. Thigh rotation, knee bend, and an ankle pivot. Before the War for Cybertron trilogy, ankle pivots were rare. It's actually amazing that we see it on not only a Combiner Wars figure, but a Combiner Wars Deluxe. The transformation is fast, fun, and gets the job done. And you get this army jeep. This is good, but I think it needed more paint. Anyway, Swindle is an 8 out of 10. On to the next figure, Brawl. This is the best figure of the set. I love this design. The original was a bit more blocky, but I definitely prefer this. The rounded shape seemed to give him some extra bulk. And the face is amazing. This has got to be one of the best mouthplate faces. Along with characters like Tarn and Grimlock and the other Grimlock. As for accessories, you get another crappy hand foot. And the turret can come off his back and become a gun. I prefer to keep it on his back. Now the articulation here is something special. Head only rotates, arms go all the way around and out, elbow bend, elbow rotation, nothing at the wrist, waist rotation, ab crunch. On a Combiner Wars Deluxe. Leg goes up that far, back that far, and out that far. Thigh rotation, knee bend, and just look at these feet. Not only do they have an ankle pivot, but if you unplug them, they also go up and down. These feet are on par with Earthrise Grapple, and this is a Combiner Wars Deluxe. The transformation is very interesting, doing a lot of things I've never seen before, and you get a good looking tank. It's not to scale and I know that bothers some people, but it doesn't bother me, this looks really good. Brawl is a 10 out of 10. 
Unfortunately, we go from a high high to a low low. Vortex. I'm sorry, but I just don't like the Combiner Wars helicopter mold. I always fear the rotor blades are gonna break off. The legs are a pain in the arse to transform. And like, what is this joint? What is that doing exactly? Accessories, gun, hand, foot. I'm not going over the articulation. It's the same as Swindle, just minus the ankle tilts. The transformation sucks because of the legs. And I don't like the helicopter. The rotor blades will not stay in place when you rotate them. 4 out of 10, not good. Blast off. Or Vortex, but better. The transformation is better. The vehicle mode is better, but my major problem is that this isn't Blastoff. This is a random guy with Blastoff's colors. He's supposed to have a mouth plate, and he's not supposed to be a jet. Still though, 6 out of 10 better than Vortex. Onslaught, the chest of Bruticus, and the leader of the group. This is my favorite design out of all of them. The giant shoulders, the sort of gauntlet hands, the really unique colors. Actually, that's something they all have. Very unique colors. As for accessories, you get two shoulder cannons. These can be held as guns, but that would be heresy. So yeah, they're staying as cannons. As for articulation, Head is on a rotation, arms go up that far, back that far, and out that far. Elbow bend, elbow rotation, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. Leg goes up that far, back that far, and out that far. Thigh rotation, knee bend, and that's it. The transformation is simple but complex at the same time. And you get this very long truck. I think I'll give Onslaught a 7 out of 10. But we're not done yet. We still have a Bruticus to cover. So here we have Bruticus, and this thing is huge. Like, here he is next to a Legends figure. A Deluxe, a Voyager, a Leader, and here he is next to Jetfire. I mean, I get it, this is made of four Deluxes and a Voyager. There are no accessories. He can hold Shockwave, but I'm going to save that for another review. Articulation, head, shoulders, elbow, wrist, thumb, fingers, leg, thigh, knee, rotation, foot rotation. Why did I go through the articulation so quickly? Because it's all basically pointless. And do you want to know why that is? Because of these useless feet. I seriously need to get an upgrade kit just to replace these feet. The hands I can deal with, but the feet are just awful. So I'm going to give the whole set a 9 out of 10. It has three great figures, one okay figure, 
And one bad figure, at least in my opinion. That's it for me. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, join my Discord server, and subscribe to The Great Soundwave. And once again, thank you for 100 subscribers.